So today we are going to learn about acknowledgement choreography values. Before trying to understand the session, you should know about what are different type of uh, acknowledgement choreography and what are different type of modes, enhanced modes and original mode. So we'll understand this video in a much better way. In a, in a simple way to explain, this acknowledgement choreography values are nothing but the type of acknowledgement you should get back. For example, I'll show you one sample acknowledgement. Here you have an MSA segment and the error segment which you got back. This will depend upon the value which you are giving in the MSH 15. So, AL is nothing but always, ER is nothing but ER, error sorry, N is nothing but uh, never, SU is nothing but successful. Depending upon this particular course, AL, ER, NE and SU, the acknowledgement will depend. So let's uh, go ahead and explain about this. So when you give always, in this context, you will always get back an acknowledgement in whether the message has failed or like whatever happened to that message, it doesn't matter. The MSH15 says always, you should always get back an acknowledgement. I showed you an example right over here. So when the message has been sent from sending application, you should always get back the acknowledgement, whatever might be the scenario. So, in case of error, whenever there are errors in the particular uh, message, so you should get uh, the uh, um, acknowledgement back only in case of error. So, this will save a lot of time, right? So, if you are sending a valid message and back to back you are getting like multiple acknowledgements, it's a waste of time to receive and to send the data. So, you don't need the acknowledgement. So, some people will use ER, like depending upon the scenario and situation. Uh, even I prefer to use ER, only I want acknowledgement when it has been received. Okay, and NE is nothing but not needed, never. So, when you give NE in 15, you will never get back the acknowledgement. Okay, you will never get back. You, I don't need acknowledgement. I am 100% sure that my message will be going from sending application to receiving and I don't need acknowledgement back. So in most of the time, for example, if I send 1 lakh messages, uh, the receiving application is receiving 1 lakh messages without any issues. I don't need acknowledgement back, which will waste my time and which will queue up my stack over here. So in that case, even I will use any. So in most of the scenarios, nobody use any unless until in some rare case scenario they will use, but uh, all, always uh, nobody use any. SU, SU is nothing but successful when someone when we sent a message and it has been successfully received, you need get the acknowledgement. So that is not at all required. Okay, when it is successful, why you need an uh, act back? But still, people will use the SU also. So my preference would be uh, using uh, ER whenever you get error, you should get back uh, an MSH 15 acknowledgement back, something like this. So for example, data field missing in pit segment. Mostly I'll be checking the acknowledgement in my real time work. Whenever there are some complications or errors, I'll be checking the acknowledgement. Rest of the time, I'll never check any acknowledgements. Means if there are like around one lakh messages passed, only there is one error, only I'll be checking one error. So a lot of data has been wasted. But still, when you try to work as an integration engineer or like any tester, you will try to understand what are the use of AL, ER, and ESU why they have been using it. So there is a reason for each and everything which has been decided and divided in HL7. So always these values are very important. Again, we'll be going deeper and deeper into each and every concept. So stay tuned. Thank you.